Okay, today I'm going to show you how I load, not how to load. But this is uh, this is my process. I think everybody should have their own process. Just so if you're uh, distracted or interrupted, uh, you don't screw things up and make mistakes, and and it just keeps it safer. So so today I'm going to be loading some 45 ACPs. I've got them already primed and cleaned up and uh, and I'm going to be loading them with Hornady 45 caliber uh, 185 grain XTP and so this is like a uh, this is the defensive load and so I want to put as much powder in there as I can possibly put in there uh, this is one of the XTP bullets in case you're not familiar with that it's uh, basically a hollow point uh, so okay, and so I got my scale all balanced at zero. The Hornady data tells me that the most I can put in to a 45 ACP for this bullet, a bullseye, because that's what I'm going to be using, is bullseye, is 6.6 .6 grains. So um, I'm going to be a little bit safe, and I'm just going to do 6. Point, um, Five grains. So I'm using my mechanical scale here. Got it set up for five grains on the left here and, and one and a half on the right. And Do a little bullseye. And I have used you know, electronic scales too. I, I kind of like this mechanical scale. So, there's the powder. I have a bullet, I look down there and I think ashes to ashes, dust to dust. You might ask why, why? Well, you're looking down there, you know about what the powder looks like, what a powder charge looks like in there. So you know if you accidentally got distracted and doubled it up or something or, or forgot to put it in there at all, uh, you know, it's just, it's just a sanity check. So as long as it's part of the process and it's always part of the process, then even if you get distracted, um, you're gonna be safe. And, uh, and so that's my tombstone Ashes to ashes, dust to dust stage. So I use a RCBS um, with a turret. And I like a turret because I don't like changing my dies all that much. And and I also always I always use a Lee crimp die. And I know a lot of people don't crimp their 45 ACPs. I I'm sold on it. I've I've done a lot of bullseye competitions and I've seen a lot more jams in, in automatic weapons. Um, when you don't got a good crimp on there. So I'm sold on the Lee crimp dies. 45s is, is pretty much what I typically load. And so I usually keep, you know, my four 45 dies just in here. And then, and then I got a couple spares for if I'm doing something else. I think these are nine millimeter right now. In case you haven't noticed my whiteboard you know, behind my workbench here with all my recipes on it, I keep a little diagram up in the upper right corner of my turret and I note which dies I have in place and I also note for the seat dies which line item they're set up for for so which recipe they're set up for you'll notice down here on my recipes I have each line item numbered I do diagrams like this in, in all the grid lines and everything in, in a wet erase pen uh, so that it doesn't erase and I do everything else that like all the entries in dry erase so I can just erase what I need to and update it without recreating the board every time. And then I come over here and do my seat. Crimp. Reset unit. Why do I reset unit? It's because if I don't, then, and I get distracted, then I'm going to come back here I'm going to, I'm, on my next one, I'm going to put a round in there. I'm going to think I'm seating it. 
I'm going to ram it into the into the crimp die. And then I always use one of these little shooter box gauges just so I can drop my round in there and make sure that it's going to it's going to fit, especially, you know, if you're doing automatics, you, you know, you don't want any kind of bulge or anything that's going to cause it to jam and so Reach, B, box, B, setup, S, got scrubs. So I'm gonna pour the powder in, grab a bullet, and look down there, make sure that everything looks normal, ashes to ashes. Dust to dust, that'd be the tombstone phase. Go to seat. Crimp. Reset unit. Breach. Box. Setup. There you have it, tombstone scrubs.